Hi everyone. In a recent poll, I had asked that how many of you would be willing to watch a video on how to self-prepare before you eventually take out coaching. And in this video, I am going to share an entire preparation plan as to how one can self-prepare before taking coaching if one decides to do that or even if one is currently not sure whether or not to take coaching in that case as well this video can be pretty useful so stay tuned and i am going to share every single aspect of my self preparation journey before taking coaching i had actually self prepared for the quant section 6 months prior to taking coaching for the cat exam i was a time student my coaching started in jan of 2017 and i had started preparing for the quant section 6 months prior to that and honestly i owe my success in the cat exam of having scored 99.09 percentile entirely to those 6 months that i spent in building my quant foundation so i would highly recommend someone who is currently not taking coaching but preparing for let's say the next year's cat exam to spend some time in fact i would say invest your time in improving your basics of a section that you are currently not very strong in but this time is not spent with a lot of of pressure in mind it is just the time that you consider that you've got additionally at hand so you prepare very leisurely during this time but let's talk about the entire preparation schedule in a very structured manner so the first aspect of self preparation is knowing that you shouldn't really be preparing for everything at the same time you shouldn't have a lot on your plate to actually deal with so you should pick your weakest section for now so how do you decide which section is your weakest section the way i did it was taking some free mocks in the very beginning of my preparation journey just to assess which section was my weakest you can also do the same recently i shared about an academy's biggest cat mock series called as all india mock test that they've launched for the students free of cost you can surely make use of it i'll mention the link again in the description box just use that code to unlock the free mocks and you can try them out take honestly 2 3 mocks and you will be able to figure out what your weakest section is in order to understand that whatever section you feel like you are not familiar with whatever section you feel the least comfortable in whatever section you feel like just skipping entirely because you don't know the basics even would be your weakest area and you will only be able to get to know that once you have attempted at least two or three mocks so one could be an academy's mock then there is a website called study buzz which is currently launched a couple of free mocks so you can access that as well so try out these various free mocks available online just to check which section is your weakest please note that these are not the mocks that you are taking to assess yourself this is not a mock that you are taking to see where you stand so don't feel demotivated if you don't score very well this is just the beginning of your preparation journey you are only taking this mock to check which section you feel least comfortable in so that you can work on it in the meantime The next step was to arrange coaching material for me so that I could understand the basics very well of that particular section. Now I had two choices here. One was to prefer the coaching material of a coaching institute, someone else's material, some student who had probably used it in the past, or the other was to arrange a self preparation book wherein coaching material would be given in there. Now what I did was I went to my PG Therein I had a senior who was currently enrolled with the coaching institute called Time and then I checked her quant book from the time material just to understand what the basics looked like what i realized was that in coaching material the theory aspect is not explained in a lot of detail and the simple reason is that they have faculty members in place to explain the theory in the classroom and they require you to solve the questions when you come at home and solve them from the booklets or the worksheets so the self preparation books were more detailed when it came to the theory aspect and if i was going to self prepare i needed more theory in order to understand the concepts because i was starting from very scratch so i preferred a self preparation book now the same senior had an arun sharma book for the quant section lying in her corner so i just checked it out and i felt comfortable with the same which is when i decided that i would go ahead and read its review on quora 
Once I read the reviews and felt confident that the book was nice, I purchased all the four books. There is a set of four books of Arun Sharma that I purchased online. Now, this is a choice. You can also go to your nearest bookstore. I would surely link the Amazon link below. I purchased all the four books even though I knew that I would be using only the quant book for now. But the way it was presented, I felt like even during the longer run, I would still be using all the four books. And I used all the four books later in my preparation journey so i purchased the complete set there are also other authors like sarvesh verma or nishit k sina so you can check out their books as well i am not endorsing any other author over here but i am just saying that i use arun sharma books so i feel pretty confident about the fact that these books are good for self preparation my only suggestion here would be to pick only one set of material and stick to it till the very end a lot of people end up choosing coaching material from one student and then purchasing a self preparation book along with and then they get confused where to study from just stick with one study material and you will be sorted the next step will be to go through the study material for which i have two suggestions first is to not make it time bound if you put a restriction on yourself that i have to finish this entire book within the next 2 months or 3 months or 6 months you will be putting very undue pressure on yourself the only thing that you are required to do is to go through the basics and strengthen your foundation that is the goal now it doesn't matter if you are not able to strengthen your basics of the entire quant section i was also not able to do that but then it's perfectly okay whatever effort you are putting is additional only and the second suggestion i have is to not jump to lod 2 or 3 questions lod means level of difficulty so when you are starting off just stick to the basic material whichever book you are using there might be different worksheets out there there might be exercise 1 which is of the easier level then exercise 2 which is of difficult level in arun sharma it's called lod 1 2 and 3 you don't have to solve lod 2 or 3 you only have to go through lod 1 and now i will be explaining what is the procedure of going through this material so the first step would be to read the theory of each chapter in front of each chapter you you are given some concepts which the author has explained regarding that chapter go through them very diligently they will be the foundation of your basics after having gone through them take a small break and then start attempting the questions now these questions would be of level of difficulty one like i stated earlier and when you sit to solve them don't sit straight away and solve all the questions in one go just make sittings sitting means in one sitting how many questions can you solve i used to target somewhere around 10 to 15 questions in a sitting and that would be all even if i wasn't able to solve a question in that sitting i would put a circle against it and i would just leave it at that i would not try too hard after that i would just come back after a break and look at the solutions of that particular sitting and in that sitting if let's say i had attempted 15 questions even if i wasn't able to solve 5 or 10 questions that would be perfect be fine because i could always look at the solution and understand how it was to be solved if you go through this process you might realize that after a point of time you will start getting a nag of the basics you'll be able to relate the questions back with the theory that you would have read but let's say you are not able to do so in that case you need to strengthen your basics further by watching some conceptual videos on that topic to give you an example i didn't feel very comfortable with geometry anyway ever so when i started self preparing for this when i started solving the questions of the geometry chapter i was not able to get most of the questions correct that is when i felt that, that there is a need for me to go through the study material that has been offered free of cost on youtube or on other platforms i also did it when i was going through my mocks and i didn't feel very comfortable with geometry so what you can do is you can go to websites or channels that are offering free content on youtube or on their websites that helps you understand those concepts better to give you an example there is a channel called unacademy catalyst which has unlimited amount of videos it has i think 7000 plus videos on various concepts so if you just type unacademy catalyst geometry you'll be able to see so many videos out there so if you're not understanding any concept just google it just youtube it and you'll get so many videos around that particular topic just strengthen your basics of that topic and come back to the exercise and start solving the questions again so this is how you strengthen your basics 
Now remember that you don't have to set a timeline for yourself in order to solve these chapters. Just repeat the exercise with each chapter one by one. If you are doing this for the corn section, I would highly recommend you to start with arithmetic because that is the best topic to start from. Don't jump on directly to geometry or number system. Those chapters are very lengthy. Instead, start off with arithmetic that will make your process much easier. Now, when you set a timeline for yourself, which I said should be a leisurely timeline, it should should not be like that you're spending let's say six months and you have your every week's plan ready with you that shouldn't be the case that will make it too tiresome or boring for you and you would not want to burn out yourself in this point of time what you need to do is to set a mental timeline for example i had decided initially that i would solve every chapter's lod1 which used to be of like let's say 50 questions in a week's time so in that particular week whenever i found even a little time i just used to solve let's say five or ten questions or ten questions in one sitting and that would be all i would not bother about solving more questions because i had set a mental timeline of finishing each exercise or each chapter in one week later i realized that i was enjoying the process of solving questions so i set the timeline to three days for each chapter now that totally depends on you depends on how much time you have available also depends on how much interest you are able to build with that chapter but don't worry about it if you come across times when you let's say have your exams going on or there is too much pressure on your job and you're not able to manage both just skip it there is no hard and fast rule that you need to prepare in the self preparation stage everything that you do would just be a cherry on the top remember to not do two things during this time first is that you don't need to maintain a formula book i had made a video on formula book earlier which says that you need to note down formulas from the concepts or material that you're solving you don't have to maintain a formula book or a golden book at this stage just relax and solve the questions at your leisure remember to make a formula book when you start with your coaching because that time you are going to revisit all these concepts so that will be the time to make a formula book second thing to not do is to not take any mocks during this time this is the time to just learn learn from each and every question and don't bother about getting questions correct or checking your standing i know it's tempting cat 2021 is currently taking place so a lot of you might be like i would want to test myself out there just take the initial few mocks to test which section is your weakest but after that don't take any more mocks they are not required finally i would say you need to become better than who you already are i decided to self prepare for quant because i wanted to get myself to the level of engineers i was a non engineer and i felt like that was a weaker aspect in my preparation journey so i wanted to at least get to the level of engineers quants i felt like they had better quant than me so i wanted to match that level before i started my coaching so that way i was able to get a head start and i would highly encourage anyone who is currently having some time available to get that head start by self preparing on your own so this is all i wanted to share in this video if you want a subject wise self preparation video that is for quant vrc and dilr let me know in the comments if you want a video on only self preparation then i can reach out to someone who only self prepared and did not take coaching and prepare a video for that as well let me know your feedback whatever it is thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any concerns feel free to connect with me in the comment section thanks again